My name is Meredith Shoemaker, and I've been coming to Sugarland Methodist for approximately 10 years, I would say. Um, I first started coming here um, when we relocated from the Richmond Rosenberg area to Stafford. And so we were looking around for what, where was a Methodist church that was closer to where we were living than going back to the church we had been attending there. And Sugarland First was the, an easy drive down Jess Purtle. And so that was, that was kind of how we came to land here. And we liked what we found here. And, and I think the thing that imp impressed me or kind of that I noted about Sugarland Methodist was how focused on ministry they were here. Um, I began to notice that just by reading the bulletin and all of the various opportunities that were there. And if you went to the website, um, there were just so many opportunities to share um, and serve the community. And I, I was just really impressed by that. Um, one Sunday morning, I saw in the bulletin that there was the, uh, the starting of a 12-step Bible study. And um, I have struggled with food all my life. Um, I am a food addict. So I was aware of 12-step programs that started with Alcoholics Anonymous, and, but knew that, that it was much broader than that. And so I started in that 12-step Bible study. And um, just through, you know, week after week of meeting with fellow addicts, and there were, you know, different ones represented, gambling and alcohol, and but just all of those various addictions and people willing to share and be vulnerable with one another um, really helped me in that walk. And so that was sort of where I got started and then as a result of that it sort of grew into a place for me to serve. I'm really involved in the Safe Harbor Ministry. Um, it was really a kind of a joyous occasion when um, one meeting Monday night in January um, we were all sharing around the table at our 12-step Bible study. And um, it, we just all kind of became aware of each other that each of us sort of had this dream for a broader recovery ministry. And so we each went around and kind of shared what, what do you see happening? And you know, as God does, He plants these seeds in all these different people. And Shazam, it's really all the same dream. And it's just a place for people who are struggling with their addiction. Um, I still struggle with mine. Every one of the ministry team of Safe Harbor feels at this point in our lives that on Saturday nights, that's where we're called to be, is at the Student Life Center for a worship service. And um, we praise the Lord through worship. And I, uh, what happens there, what would traditionally be a sermon time in a Sunday morning worship service, for example, is someone in the recovery um, community that just comes and tells their story, kind of where they've been. And, and so there's, there's no masks there. Masks are not allowed. You have to leave those outside. It's very casual. Um, and people are just very real with each other. And um, it's, it's been a blessing to me. So it's a place for me to serve. And it's also been a place that has ministered to me. I got it early on that the creator of the universe wanted to have a personal relationship with me. And um, that truly just permeates every part of my life. And, um, and it's because that's, that brings me such joy and peace um, that really I try to be sensitive to the people that God puts in my path that I can share that with them. Um, it's just a very deep part of who I am.